Okay, I've ordered uh, some new chips and they have arrived. Um, the one on the top is the original. And the one underneath is the ones I got from China. So, I really do hope that they are not fake. <laughs> Looking at the difference in the printing method there. Um, hopefully that they are still making these ICs. Is that... If we have a look at the middle number on the top one, is that the 27th week of 97? Would that mean that the other one's the 32nd week of 02? Maybe they changed their printing methodology and so forth. I really hope so. But it's probably surplus stock. And uh, I got five of them. And this is how they came, all wedged together. So it's... Uh, yeah, lovely. <laughs> uh, let's put those in and see if it makes any difference. If not, I'm kind of at a loss on this one. ready to go place your bets I'm not very confident in this actually <laughs> oh okay what do we got there still looks like a, a fully uncontrolled signal yeah, that has made no difference at all. Alright, so we are no closer to solving this. The ICs are performing no differently. Okay, I should have probably done this uh, a long time ago. <laughs> I'm now probing the clock, which is uh, the yellow trace, and the data line, which is the blue trace, for our... Um, D to A converters, uh, and if I hold down the volume button, we can quite clearly see clock and data. Yeah, so quite obviously, the fact that the volume button has data that only appears on the DAX. Uh, says to me that there's there's more to these decks than what is mentioned in the data sheet for them at least the data sheet that I've got there's nothing in the data sheet um, really that fully explains the digital operation of them it, it sort of explains how it works internally but nothing about the commands that you'd send to it for example or whatever so there must be a more technical document somewhere but quite clearly it is the DAC that is the uh, level control as well now they look like fairly good square waves and that to me the voltages look okay I don't believe it's a corrupt signal coming from the uh, processing board Okay, I probably should have gone down this route uh, some time ago. However, um, what I've been sort of thinking in the background is while we have communication taking place on the uh, serial data line, what if it doesn't understand that communication? So it looked, the square waves looked okay. Um, so I didn't really think much of it um, so I, I revisited that and um, what I found was we've got a scale here of 0 to 4 volts um, this is a 5 volt rail IC so the signaling is um, 
I think it's 2.4 upwards as a high and 2.1 down as a low down to ground. Um, and there is a resistor on this pin to ground. So the IC, the processor there, um, is actually driving the line high in order to create your signaling. So, um, or maybe it's got an internal pull up that activates before it pulls it down for signaling, whatever. Um, anyhow, 0 to 4 volts, and what I was finding was um, I'd, I'd push the volume button and it'll be it'll be five volts um, it's actually five volts it's showing for um, five volts um, and it would pull it low but it wasn't really going all the way to ground so when I let go of the button the signal went from went from high back down to about two volts uh, I thought that was a bit weird, so I followed the line back, I found that resistor to ground, and I followed the line back onto the processor board, and it's um, it goes straight into the main processor and the um, one of the DSP uh, chips. So both of those chips can communicate on this line at the same time which I see is most likely to be sending volume commands and it's probably not the DSP that's probably setting up some kind of um, yeah it might just be setting up some kind of um, internal some other settings unrelated to volume so sound sound manipulation anyway um, so I cut the trace that goes from the processor uh, to the well I cut the trace from the signal line to the DSP right um, and what I found if I pop the scope on now as you can see the blue line is resting at zero so that DSP I believe is faulty and um, and it's holding the line up above ground so what I get now when I hit hold my finger on the button hopefully you, there you go you can see proper square waves going from there we go so it's um, two volts per division that's five volts yeah there you go five volts to ground now we're down on uh, level four on the volume so quite low and as you can see I've got bugger all signal coming out so let's hold my finger on the volume button and see what happens And there's a hundred. Hey, how about that? Let's just, uh, here we go. And we'll wind it back down again. Now she's pretty, um, pretty sensitive. So that's 50 millivolts there. So I'm not sure if we're out of the woods just yet. Because that's pretty low and we're down at like 50% I mean that could be my source okay so I'm running off my phone and I don't know that's an amplified output of course so let's just crank the output right up and if I wind the volume right up Wow it makes a much bigger difference up near the top end than it does no, it's not very linear. So that's 500 millivolts peak to peak. That's what we were getting before, at full volume. So if we just crank that back up to, what's that, 50 millivolts per division, hit the down button. We're coming back down. See how quickly that comes down. So we're at 60. And we're coming down to 50, 40, 30. 20, 10, nothing. And of course, mute is, um, well, zero kills, it's hits a mute circuit. Now, I don't know, we got a bit of a, a little bit of DC offset there. It's sitting just below the line, maybe it's, 
Well, what that's about. Maybe that's my input. Hmm. Anyway, we seem to be onto the right path. Um, bad communication as a result of a bad data line. Um, I'm going to have to order one of those chips, I think, because that shouldn't be happening. Um, one thing I was getting, after this thing had warmed up, I was getting a pretty violent uh, swing, like the output was going full rail briefly. Uh, I did show you that, didn't I? Um, it'd be interesting to see if it does that again. Let's uh, see if we can't capture that. Turn it off, turn it on. You see we've got some negative bias going on there. I don't know what's going on with that. So it's not... Oh, there it goes. No. It's all over the place. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that, whatever is going on there. But, I mean, I've scoped the power supplies and everything, and nothing lines up with that movement. It's like it's coming out of the... D to A 